In this presentation, a subcapital fracture of the distal ulna with diaphyseal comminution and a styloid fracture will be treated with a 2.0 LCP distal ulna plate. The objectives of this exercise are to identify the clinical indication for a distal ulna plate, to show the principles of the distal ulna plate, the patient position and the approach, the instruments needed, and reduction and fixation of the fracture. This clinical example shows a displaced distal ulna fracture that will be fixed with a 2.0 LCP distal ulna plate. The distal ulna plate is anatomically pre-contoured and has pointed hooks to grip the styloid process and to act as a reference point for plate application. The plate accepts 2mm locking screws, 2mm cortex screws, and as an option, 1.5mm cortex screws. The intercrossing 2mm locking screws securely hold the ulna head. The oblong plate holes accept 2mm cortex screws for ulna length adjustment. The shaft contains LCP combi holes that accept either 2mm locking or cortex screws. The undercut helps to ensure that the threaded holes will not be distorted with typical contouring. The instruments needed are the threaded 2.0 LCP drill sleeve, the 2.0 universal drill sleeve, the 1.5mm drill bit, the depth gauge, and the short star drive screwdriver shaft with handle. For this exercise, the bow model is secured in this position. The ulnar styloid and shaft are palpated to plan the incision. A straight incision is made along the length of the distal ulnar. The retinaculum is incised. The retinaculum is retracted along with the dorsal sensory branch of the ulnar nerve. This is the styloid fracture. Here is the subcapital fracture of the distal ulna with diaphyseal comminution and the ulna shaft. The plate is positioned on the bone with the threaded 2.0 LCP drill sleeve. The hooks of the plate should be secured around the tip of the styloid. The 2mm drill bit is used to create the screw hole. The depth of the hole can be read from the scale on the sleeve and the mark on the drill. In this case, 20 millimeters. The drill sleeve is removed and a 2 millimeter locking screw of appropriate length is inserted with the short star drive screwdriver shaft with handle and fully tightened. The ulnar shaft is held with the pointed reduction forceps and the ulnar head is reduced to the shaft. The 2.0 universal drill sleeve is inserted into the oval plate hole in a neutral position and a 1.5mm screw hole is created. The depth is measured. A 2mm cortex screw of appropriate length is inserted and fully tightened. The comminution zone is now bridged with the plate. Any fragments in this zone are left with their soft tissue attachments and are not fixed to promote healing. 
At this stage, it is important to check the reduction and the placement of the plate under image intensification before continuing with plate fixation. Two locking head screws are inserted through the most proximal plate holes. A 2mm cortex screw is inserted on the other side of the fracture line and fully tightened to bring the bone to the plate. A 2mm locking screw is inserted in the second most distal plate hole to increase stability of the ulnar head fragment. The clinical post-operative x-rays show good reduction and correct positioning of the plate. This presentation has shown the clinical indications for a distal ulnar plate, the principles of the distal ulnar plate, the patient position and the approach, the instruments needed, and reduction and fixation of the fracture.